Hello. This is my shout out. Going out to a few of the soldiers on Iraq that created a web page for their voices as well as the families. And this is a two part video for I will be able to show a few uh, pictures and a few um, uh, the URLs. So you can go ahead and make your own decision of belief or non belief. But from the stories that were posted on the website and a paper that is allowed to the soldiers on grievances that they have currently. And the biggest one is not enough to secure Iraq in a proper manner. And they're not knowing if they're going to get the support they need, you know, from not so much their commanders, but from the actual administration. Now, I know. I didn't support the troops because there would be times like right now that you know they're getting bombed, shot at, and you know you do have to take the orders that come down, but what about the word from below on up? Because if you're doing the same tactics and they haven't worked after how many years? Four? And you have no way of changing things, that's why the American people are saying pull out because although they're surging more troops in supposedly is that really going to help and are they going to split it to where half go to Baghdad and half go to the borders to try to you know quell people coming in with you know items that are going to you know harm people now <clears throat> one of the reasons they say that we went to war was the weapons of mass destruction. Well, you and I both know we helped Saddam be in power back in the day and worked with him or Iran, you know, time and time again. So the weapons of mass destruction had to be ours. Now, where'd they go? Don't know. Will that come into effect later? Probably. But for right now, the only weapons that they are using are the IEDs, and where did they get them from? Well, looking at how explosives, probably from us, again, just like, you know, Israel, Hezbollah, and the other factions, you know, up to the north, northwest of the Persian Gulf, you know, it's all of our items over there that are being used against either ourselves or other innocent people. So it's just, if we didn't really stick our noses over there to a point, you know, giving them enough to work with and then allow them to manufacture it, then that's a good thing. But for our bombs still over there, killing innocent people, as well as being used against our own soldiers. I mean, that's kind of, mm -mm. So people want to complain, you know, of the statement I just made. Why don't you go ahead and take a good look? Because if we didn't find them, whether it was the security um, of the United Nations going over there and looking with inspectors or, you know, other regular journalists, not, you know, from CNN, but there were a few others, even from other countries like Italy and from South America, there were no weapons to be found in the normal places. Now, if they were spirited away, where are they now? Certainly they haven't come across any, you know, for the long part of our occupation. So will it come into play later? Probably. But is it happening right now? No. And it's too quiet and it's frightening me even more for the few people that I've spoken with that I'm worried about them. And that's more of the problem. They're worried about the people they're protecting and I'm worried about them because they have family members that they have to worry about. And so if you have, you know, some negative comments, why don't you take a look at the negative comment? Are you going to sign up and go and help? Or are you going to help when they come back wounded? Because combat does leave you scarred mentally. And there are going to be a lot of people that are going to need help when they come back. 
I am helping out a friend right now because although he hasn't been in this occupation, he was there the first time. And you can't tell that he was blown up, but yes, he was. And some days he's a little topsy-turvy and it's hurting his mom and it's just so if you say that you're all for the war why don't you go over there or why don't you just talk to some of those that were in Vietnam and you know who they are a lot of times some of them are semi crippled missing fingers or a leg or an arm they can tell you now they do those Vietnam vets do support our troops but they do want them home just as well because if the sectarian violence continues and it's more so for the control of the country if they're going to take control then what's going to happen afterwards our corporations that you know supposedly were trying to rebuild haven't done anything and it's already shown from some video in certain areas that they can't rebuild so where's all this money going it's certainly not helping us here for our schools for the protection of our cities and the infrastructure I mean, we're just throwing all this money over into the Middle East. I mean, if it was similar to the tsunami and the earthquake ravaged areas, that's great. But to just continue to funnel money in and we're not getting anything out of it except more wounded soldiers and more flag draped coffins. It's this is not this is insane, actually. And. <clears throat> going ahead and trying to impeach Bush is not going to help. Yes, the Congress does need to come up with a different plan to present to Bush when they say no. So, if you have an idea, then write it down, get it notarized, and post it to your congressman or woman so that then they can go ahead and come up with a plan that may work with how you feel. You already stated how you felt with the vote. Now it's the second part of their job. What do they need or to understand to put this out? So this is part one. The second part will show the website and a few pictures that were sent through the website. So enjoy.